We're now going to start looking at setting up your own structural project in Revit Structure. Now, before we do that, what we're going to do is look at picking up an existing Revit Structure model that you may have picked up from somebody else. You might need to revise it. You might need to improvise it. You might need to utilize it because it's similar to a previous Revit Structure project that you want to work on. So what we're going to look at is picking up other people's mistakes, errors, and just generally tidying up this particular Revit structure model. Now, if you go into your working files, you'll see that there are various working files available for this section, and they're fairly self-explanatory. This one is all about setting up an existing structural project, and you'll see the word existing in the file type in the Revit file. So let's have a look now and see what we've got. I'm currently in the west elevation. And as you can see, the grids here are coming through all the way through the fourth floor there. So if I zoom in a bit and pan, you can see there that we've got the fourth floor and grid E is coming up through the fourth floor. So if I now go and look at, say, one of the fourth floor plans, if I go to fourth floor here, structural plan, we seem to be missing something. We've got these grids here. We were looking at the west elevation, which is here. So we're looking from this point here to the right at our grid. So we can see A, B, C, D, and E. But the grids coming vertically through the plan aren't showing. Now, why is that? Well, maybe we need to check a different elevation, maybe a north or a south elevation. So let's go and look at that now. This is a very common error, by the way. And if I go and look at my north elevation now, you'll see that those grids aren't actually going up through the fourth floor. So they're not going to display in the structural plan or the floor plan or any analytical model for that matter. So we need to edit things. We need to tidy up. Now, you'll notice we've got grid bubbles galore there, and we need to tidy all of those up. We'll do that in a moment. Let's have a look at some more important things, like there's a section there. And that section at the moment isn't going all the way through the building. Can you see that? It's not going up through the fourth floor. So we need to zoom in a bit, just pan and zoom in again. And I'm going to click there. And I need to move this up. So there's a little bubble there. Click, drag that section up through the fourth floor like that. That's important because that section might be represented somewhere else and someone needs to see it. So hit escape there. And that's our section all the way through, making sure it goes through all of those floors. Now, something else you'll notice there is, look, all of these grids and everything are all a bit messy and all a bit untidy. Can you see even the levels aren't even right? So we need to tidy all of this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this particular level here and click here on this little bubble and take those through all the way through to about there like that. Now, because some of them are constrained, I'll hit escape there. They've come all the way through that one there. I want to switch it on there on this side and I want to switch it off on that side. Hit escape now. It's already beginning to look a lot neater. Now, what I need to do here is make sure that this one comes through. So I'll click there, line it in with the existing levels, and again, it's constrained. I hit escape. Let me just pan across a bit, click there, click the box so that it shows on that side, untick the box there, hit escape to deselect. Again, it's already beginning to look much neater. So we'll do the last one for the fourth floor. We'll switch that on there, switch that off there, hit escape, everything's tidy. So levels wise, we're up to speed. Now, what we do need to do is take these through here. They're all constrained. We need them to go through those grids there, line it in. I can line it in with the ground floor there, take it to about there, that's fine. Hit escape, everything's neat and tidy. Now we need to move these grids up. So we, again, they're constrained. I click and I drag up through like that, up through the fourth floor, hit escape to deselect and zoom out. And look how much neater that is. It's a very common error to have one elevation all neat and tidy with your grids and your levels and other ones not so. So I'm going to zoom in now. All of these ones that have 2XX, 2YY, if I just pan down a bit, we select like so and we switch off the bubbles. We don't actually need the bubbles. So you select, click the box, hit escape. Select, click the box, hit escape. And do that with each of them. It does take a little bit of time. Be methodical. Take your time with this and make sure that it's right. That way, later on, you don't have any errors that crop up that might cause problems with your structure or with analysis or anything like that. Get all your grids right and make sure they're spot on. So I'm just going through this now. 
and we'll just tidy up those last few there. And again, it is time taking. You've got to take the time to make sure it works. So everything there, if I do a zoom extents now, much neater, much tidier. But more importantly, when I go and look at those fourth floor plans, I've got all the grids. That's the important bit. So make sure with your elevations that your grids extend up through your levels through your floors when you pick up any existing Revit project.